The site style we've been using up to this point is a default for net objects, and it's possible to choose your own style from a collection provided in the software and also available to you on the web. If you click on the style speed button, a variety of selections will uh, be made available to you. And if you click on the style tree, you can look at uh, uh, Fusion 10 styles, Fusion 9 styles for the previous release, and then classic styles which were available in prior releases of the product. I'll expand the Fusion 10 site styles and just select one of these to show you how it can be applied. For example, uh, Information Blue. If I double click on that, we get a preview of the uh, banner text, button styles, table styles, textiles, etc. that would be imposed on the site if we choose this style. I'll do that by clicking Set Style on the Speed Button bar. And the net effect can be uh, then uh, seen if we go back to Page View. And let me zoom out just a little bit to see what the uh, net effect of this was. Now, one thing you want to be careful about is when you apply a site style, it may be necessary to go back and do a little bit of tweaking on your uh, page layout. For example, you see that with this style, the navigation buttons are laid out horizontally right under the banner, and the layout area has been indented more than 200 pixels in. In fact, if we click on the margin set, you'll see that we're at 228 pixels in. That's wasting a lot of space. We might want to click on this graphic and delete it and then see if we could move the uh, layout area closer to the left border. Again, um, you can experiment by clicking on various site styles and, and applying them, but be careful to tweak your design afterwards to make sure that it, it conforms to the page boundaries.